shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and two shall become one flesh, according to the scriptures, wherefore God has joined together. Let no one separate. I can't tell you how proud I am to be married. I'm proud because you're the most amazing woman I've ever met. You've stood by me like no one else ever has. Through 1,032 miles and 372 days we've had to travel to get here. And I do it all over again in a heartbeat just to call you mine. I vow to always have you back to be the best father I can to our future children. And I vow to spend every single day for the rest of my life making each one of yours better than the last. As actors, there are parts that we seek and parts that we covet, parts that we just hope for our entire lives. And being cast as your friend and your best man was and is the greatest role I will ever get to play. To see your soul brother be so in love and so over the moon with his new best friend is a sight that I wouldn't change for anything. I just knew my knight in shining armor would come riding in on a white horse. Well, he did. He rode in on a white horse, but I would have never guessed he would be wearing neon orange and overalls. <laughs> Cohen, there's not a day that goes by that I don't say I'm grateful for you. I prayed long and hard for you before you even knew it. My plot twist became my happy ending, and for that, I will never not believe in God's love for us or fairy tales. By the power invested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Cohen, we have seen such a difference in Taylor since you came into the picture. And it really means the world to us that you're here for. And we know that she's in good hands. So please take care of her for us. 